Okay, in this um, session for Bright Bites, I'm going to show you how to go in and do some extra things for um, giving students feedback um, when grading assignments. So right now I'm in this course, this practice course as myself as an instructor. So I'm going to go to grades. Okay, and I can see right now that um, this demo student has gone in and they participated in a discussion in three and four, and um, I've graded one, but I didn't do three yet. And you can see over here, they've submitted two assignments, two projects. And um, if I go all the way over to the right, I can also see that they've completed um, quiz four. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna go in and um, I'm gonna do the projects, which is where you probably would, would be putting more of your feedback in. So I'm gonna come back here to this assignment. And you might be doing accessing these through quick avails. It doesn't really matter where you access the assignment. In this assignment, they've submitted a cover letter. Okay. And when I click on it, I can view it in here, okay, because it is a word file and it is capable of reading a word file. So I have a rubric for this assignment. So um, I'm going to show you two different ways. Obviously, um, when you're grading, if you didn't put a rubric in, you can just come back in here and put in your overall feedback for the assignment. So um, And I'm just going to, I'm not going to sit here and type out a bunch of stuff, but I do want to mark up a couple of things on this page to just kind of bring it to their attention. So there are some tools up here to go in and mark up the page. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to choose the pen and you can select what color you want to use. Um, you can fill it, um, which for if you're just using the pen, you wouldn't be filling it in. And then you can go in and, you know, decide different things across here. Um, screen overlay dark and lightened so i'm just using a pen right now so i'm going to go in and i'm going to circle this to say that they should not be putting a th in the business dollar so i'm going to add some text here and just click where i want the, the text to be Do not add th after the number and you can go down through and you could do a bunch of different things. If I wanted to um, add a note to something, so I could click up here and just um, tell it to add a note. I can add arrows, circles. So there's a whole bunch of different things. I can go in and um, put a star in there with a note. Um, okay, and I can also move that star around depending where I want them to see it. And then I'm gonna close it, okay? So it's giving them a spot where they're going to point to see what you wrote, okay? Now, because I have a rubric in here, now, if you don't have a rubric, you just type in the grade. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go in and do the rubric and I'm gonna mark what they've completed. I'm gonna take some points off for adding that TH in there. Um, the date is currently spelled out. Actually, information's right unless the date is not spelled out correctly. Just turned in on time. Okay. And there's the grade. So I'm not going to take off um, 13 points for that TH. So I'm going to change this grade to a 95. So even though I'm using a rubric, I can adjust the grade any way I want. Okay. Now, there's also an option in here where you can go in and record audio or record a video, okay? And um, the video will let you use your webcam to go in. Um, because I'm using my webcam right now and using my computer screen and mic and everything through my webcam, I can't go in and do this. But this is another way for you to go in and record feedback if you don't wanna write it all out, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, publish this. Okay, so 
the student has gotten an email saying it's been graded, it's going to give them the basic feedback, but they still need to come into the course to be able to see what all the information you gave them. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to submissions for a minute. Actually, I'm going to um, come out and I'm going to go back to grades. And I'm going to grade his second project in mod two. Okay, so again, I might want to want, mark this up, go in and draw something around there. Um, you know, if we may can draw different spots and I can add text boxes, I can do lines, um, I can do arrows pointing to things. So the students can download it, you can download it. And if you were gonna hand it to them in class or they can come in and look at it themselves, they can print it out. Okay, so if you don't want something, you put it in there by accident, you can go in and delete this annotation and it takes it back out again. Okay, so you have a couple different things you can do with the notes and the text boxes and the arrows and all that fun stuff. Okay, so this one I'm going to go in and I'm going to do. Now I'm not actually taking points off because the TH has to do with the first project. I'm just pointing it out again. And um, everything in here was right. We got a 100. And and I'm going to say, great job. Um, okay, so um, I put everything in there that I want to, and I'm going to publish it. All right, you do have options down here that you can actually add links to stuff. You can attach documents from Google Drive, from um, OneDrive, which is the Office Drive. Um, you can upload files. So if, for I know some of you like to go in and download a file, make all your notations on that file, and then you can just upload the file back into here so they can see it and download it. Okay, so that's another way for you to go in and um, well, let's say I did that. I want to upload a file here from my computer. And let's say I know that I saved the file to the desktop and here's the one that was the updated one that I marked up. So I'm going to add that file. Okay, and you can see the file's been attached there. And I'm going to update it. Okay, so you've got all different ways that you can give them feedback. Okay, now I'm going to come back out to, I'm going to go back out to submissions. And I do want to show you a trick here. If you are getting near to the end of your items closing, maybe your assignments are going to close, um, this option in here, when you're looking at the submissions, it will email any student that did not submit an assignment for that. So it's a quick way for you to go in and reach out to these students to let them know that they're missing an assignment. Okay, so this is available only in assignments. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to grades again. Okay, now this time I'm going to grade a discussion. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the discussion. Okay, and this is going to show me all the posts that this student has made, and it gives me an overall total at the top to let me know that they've created one main thread, and they've replied to another one. Okay, now again, I have a discussion rubric. Now rubrics, um, if you just have a scale that you want to use, um, you can just click on the link to the rubric. Another thing that you can do is expand out the rubric. And when you expand out the rubric, you can see the feedback for each box as you select it. And you can actually add feedback into each one of these boxes as well. So um, let's say their first post was great. They got all the points for that one. Um, 
let's say their second post was a little bit lacking and they are missing a, actually they're missing a, um, a link out to a reply. Their spelling was okay, maybe a, a one, one or two errors. And then down here, they didn't even bother doing the second reply, okay? So I can come here to add feedback and it's gonna add a feedback just for this one line here of the rubric. So I'm gonna say, um, you are missing a link to an article or website. Okay, and then down here I can add feedback and say, um, make sure you proofread. Okay, so when I'm all done, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna go ahead and hit close. Okay, it's automatically calculated the grade using the rubric. Okay, if I wanna put in more feedback, I can. Um, I can even say, um, check um, rubric for feedback just so that they know that I put the feedback in another location. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna publish this, okay? If you are not using rubrics, rubrics are a great way to take a lot of the things that you're grading. You can detail the rubric as much as you want. So if I go into here again, um, it just makes it real smooth to be able to go in and mark um, where their mistakes are. And if you have a really detailed rubric, you don't have to give a lot of extra feedback as you're doing it. So it depends on how detailed you are when you create your rubric. Um, obviously, you can just put rubric, you know, feedback in here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this. Okay, so um, those are a couple of ways that you can go in and add feedback into um, to students as you work with them. Okay, so I'm going to go back out. And actually, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into that course as that test demo one student. So I'm going to go into the course here. Okay, and now I'm going to go into grades. Okay, so now you're gonna see, so that it gives them the grade, but over on the right-hand side, here's the overall feedback. That's what's in that main box. So you can see the feedback there. They don't have to open up anything. So there is an advantage of putting your feedback there. Um, there's, um, they can view the grading rubric. So when I open that, okay, it's, best if they expand it so they can see everything. So they can see exactly where they gained or lost points. And by looking at this, they can see your individual pieces of feedback for each line within the rubric, okay? So um, I did do a video showing um, students how to go in and open a rubric and look at the um, feedback for each line. So if you want that, I can, um, it's part of a um, resource that we're building. Okay, now, um, now the other one where I marked up, here's the projects that I graded. So here's the, um, the overall feedback, that main box. Here's the grading rubric. Okay, so they can look at that and see how the rubric was graded. I didn't do any individual feedback in here. So I'm going to close that up. And then there's the option of view inline feedback. So this is where they can see where you marked up the actual document. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see where it went, where I went in and I did the red circle and then I put in a note. And then down here, if they point to the image, um, they can read the note that you added in the document. Okay, now this does open up in a new window. They do have the option to um, expand it to make it bigger. So if they wanna be able to see it a little bit better, then they can use the hand and they can move it around. Okay. All right, and I don't know what this fit the page. Okay, so it takes it back out again. Okay, um, they have the option to print it. 
they can download the file with the annotations, okay? And then um, they can go in, what is that? Search documents so they could actually search through the document or notes and stuff like that, okay? Now this is only a one page document, but you can do a document mapping for the students and they can go in and see all the paper pages and they can click on the pages of the document where you marked it up. Okay, so when that opened up, it opened up in a new tab. Okay, so those are some of the things that you would see. Now, if you did a video note, they would have a separate link here and they could click on the video note um, that recording, whether they you recorded just your audio or you recorded yourself using your webcam and you're talking to them, um, you can have that set up as a video note in there. So you don't have to write out all of the feedback if you don't want to put it in here. Okay, so that's another way for you to go in and add different feedback throughout your course. Okay, so um, Okay, and we do have a video showing students how to go in and get this information. And um, we have those videos where we're kind of building up a library in YouTube, just so you know. Um, if you search for my last name, I do have, um, I have Brightspace tips for students that we're just starting to build um, the video library for students. And then I do have Brightspace tips for faculty and you can use any of these videos and pull them into um, your courses. Um, so there's, you know, some extra information on how to give um, feedback, um, grades using questions and quizzes and stuff. Um, so you can actually pull any one of these and use these in your courses if you want to. Okay. So, um, you know, feel feel to feel free to grab any of these. So you could actually just look for Brightspace tips or Bright Space tips for students. And you can actually go in and um, you can subscribe to my, um, my channels here if you wanna do that. Okay. So that's how you can go in and give your students feedback when grading. All right, let me get the uh, thing back up. 